Well, here I am. And guess what time it is? That's right. It's dark o'clock outside. It's dark outside. It's not during the day, in the afternoon, or anything like that. It's nighttime here. It's like about 8.30. And uh, actually, I had to pick an eye up from school today because it's an early day, so I've been with her, had her around. So I haven't really got a chance to do much of anything except, uh, well, I did work on this cabinet of this, uh, of the TCS4. And um, the reason I did that because I am going to make a crinkle finish on the cabinet, which is what it normally would have come with. And apparently somebody used, had painted it flat or it wore off or something. I don't know what. So, uh, anyway, I used a can of uh, Wrinkle, I think it's called Wrinkle Plus, it's VHT makes it, and uh, it's not cheap stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty expensive for a aerosol can uh, paint. So, anyway, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Uh, now I'll show you inside what I did to my, uh, the good old... Atwater Kent with the cabling system on that. And it's going to turn on a little light. Let's see if we can see anything. All right. And we put it like that back there so we get some contrast. And there's the crinkle finish on that. Actually, if you look at the, the plate, if you're ever get close enough to look at it, it says December, well, the contract was for in uh, April of 1941, but the actual date on this is uh, December 24th, 1942. So I was right. It is older than the other one I've got coming, uh, the TS, uh, TCS-12. But anyway, there's the crinkle finish, and uh, that's the paint I used. And uh, yeah, it looks like it turned out pretty well, um, even on the side. Uh, I don't think you get the contrast on that. I'm trying to do that with the, uh, the light. If I can get it up just enough that you can see the, the crinkle finish, especially on the louvers. Uh, it shows up pretty well on those. But uh, yeah, it took me a while. Um, what I figured out on this stuff is that to get a, a decent crinkle finish job, what you have to use, you've got to use a heat gun on it. <clears throat> or in my case, I just used a, a blow dryer, a hair dryer, and had it in a high setting and just kept going over it. And that's what makes the, the crinkle finish, actually. So, um, yeah, it did pretty good. And, uh, yeah, so all I used is just a, the old... Air dryer set on high and that was it so anyway I just wanted to show you that one and then we'll go and I'll show you what I did with the uh, the cable on the Atwater Kent well here's the cable of the Atwater Kent I ended up uh, this is the one that had all the frayed wires in it and everything so I taped all those up and uh, singly and then I went ahead and I wrapped that, and then after I did that, I used uh, shrink wrap uh, over the top of this, or the, the shrink uh, tubing on it, the heat shrink. And uh, so I sealed that up. Uh, then I went back over and the individual wires on this, I uh, found anything that looked bare or, or like it was exposed and taped those off. And I'll go back and, and use heat shrink on that. Uh, but yeah, it has <clears throat> these bigger connectors here. And they are kind of corroded. I mean, I'm going to have to do some really serious cleaning on these things. There's two of them like that. And there's an extra wire coming off. So, seeing as how it's heavier wire. Uh, I don't remember if this had the one where it was... Uh, 
the, the filament voltage was higher or I mean was uh, heavier as far as current wise. I thought it didn't use that much as far as on the rest of the radio, but it may have, I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, basically these were like both the same. One had a, a wire hanging out here, tapped off of it, right there. The same thing, corroded. So I'm going to have to clean that up uh, and stick it in baking soda or whatever and see if I can take care of that and then I'll have to clean it up afterwards but uh, yeah so I just went along the entire cable one end to the other patched up that and anything I saw that looked like it was frayed or you know just slightly chewed up whatever for the cloth covering on the outside but the wiring is okay I just I just taped it with this other gray electrical tape uh, so that's good enough it's so long, you know, if it doesn't test out, I'm going to have to go ahead and replace the whole thing anyway. So, I figure, well, I'll try this first, and I'll test each end, and if that doesn't work, then I'll have to go back and go ahead and uh, replace each single wire in this thing. I'm hoping I don't have to, but hey, it's 90 some odd years old, I may have to. Uh, backwards. Right. So yeah, all the knobs came out fine on the water can. It all looks good. Uh, and the panel came out perfect. No problem there. Uh, the color may be a little bit off, but not enough to even bother with. And uh, everything else is fine. All the coils and the wiring inside there, everything seems to be in good shape. So yeah, uh, now I just got to figure out where, where all the voltages are and check this wiring out. And then we'll go from there. So that's going to be it for